friends. Oh yeah, you look so pretty. And I've talked to my friends like, did you see her haircut? When you kiss, because like, we also kiss in Italy, unfortunately. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> it's weird in the US. <laughs> um. Hello. Italy is somewhere I've always wanted to travel to. I mean, everywhere, but that's just that first. <laughs> I've also always wanted to travel to Italy. It's my neighboring country, but I've never been there, oh. so we can go together. Yes. <laughs> Recently, I've been seeing like a lot of Instagram reels about Switzerland. I really want to visit Switzerland once. I really like North Europe, so I would probably go again to Norway. I love staying in the woods with no people around. <laughs> No sound. Yeah. Like introvert. Yeah. <laughs> Each country is so different from each other. Yeah. Because even in Germany, we're really close, we share a lot of similar things, but at the same time, we're so like different mm -hmm. in different at some point. I think you can feel it too. Oh. <laughs> yes, in Spain, you don't have when you first met because you probably do like two kisses or yeah, you shake hands, but hug is more with maybe close people, close friends and family, yeah. It's kind of like showing love, so when you first met, it's kind of weird. Mm. Uh, is this similar? I think for Germany, we do hug, even for first meeting, if it's not something like official, like a business mm. meeting or your yeah, boss right. or your co-worker, <laughs> like work-related, no. But if you're meeting like the friend of a friend for the first time, for example, I think you would hug hello. Oh. Like for example, if you met someone at the f for the first time and you hug it, like hug, hug that person, is it like something like rude? Uh, maybe not rude, but uncomfortable mm -hmm. because yeah, it's too close. But at the same time, we do like two kisses. Yeah. So, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> when, you, when you kiss, because like, we also kiss in Italy, unfortunately. <laughs> but, uh, sorry. When you kiss, I'm sorry, you don't really like kiss the cheek, you're like, yeah. you just go around. You don't head. touch. You don't really um, touch. But yeah. if you have to hug someone, then you become too touchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's mm. kind of weird, I mm. think. Is it weird in the US? <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say it's kind of weird um, to hug when you first meet somebody, unless it's like a, maybe like if you're introducing a significant other to like family members or friends you hug, but like a stranger, I don't think so. I think no. that'd be kind of strange. We might hug actually. Swedish people love hugging a lot to Thank the point you. where some people actually don't like it. I've heard <laughs> <laughs> but I think first meet, yeah, shake hands or if, like you said, they know each other, then like know of each other, then maybe hug, yeah. Mm, yeah. So in France, we don't cross the fork and the knife on the table if you put the towel in the plate. Uh, this is a more bad manner. The thing is, like, if you cross the fork and the knife, it means you finish eating uh, but yeah it's more like a manner you don't really do that it means you finish eating actually we have something called galateo in italy mm. which is good manners when you're at the table mm. actually as far as i know crossing is wrong mm. anytime so when if you finish your meal or you finish what you have in the dish you should put the fork and knife in the same direction so let, let's think about a clock you should put it at a quarter both of them I think we do the same as like when you finished, you line yeah. them up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. There is a full, I saw this kind of picture before, there is a full actual language at the restaurant with the fork and the knife. I don't know it by heart, but mm -hmm. I know like how you put, even like how you put it, it's like you actually finish and lock the meal. Do you guys have like some manner like when you eat, like during the meal, like in your country? <laughs> I'm pretty sure we do, but I didn't really grow up like that. Mm, yeah. So I, I never learned proper table yeah, manners me for me but one thing my parents always told me is like rude to have the elbows on the table yeah. Yeah. yeah and also you should always keep your hands on the table and not hiding them under uh -huh. oh. in Netherlands we don't like we almost eat everything with fork and knife except for bread but like sometimes uh -huh. 
It really depends because if it's like Italian pizza, then like there's like more things on it than like American pizza, I guess. Mm. So I don't know. Just eat a lot of things just with fork and knife. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. crying. <laughs> what, about, what about in America? Um, the only thing I can think of is like I was always told by my grandma like if there's like a a napkin, you always put it in your lap. Yeah. Mm. So on the table, so yeah. I didn't necessarily perceive this growing up, but I've heard it a lot recently as I've been abroad. I think, yes, Swedish people tend to kind of go around the subject a little bit, but it also depends on the person because I'm very confrontational and I really don't like it when people are not. <laughs> uh, so I guess maybe that frustrated me a lot growing up. But I don't think it's to the extent where it's like, it would be difficult, but just Swedish people don't like to talk to strangers or talk to random people, so they wouldn't say if something was wrong, I think. How about you guys? Do you have a similar thing? We are very confrontational. We are <laughs> <laughs> fire. Yeah. We just speak. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, in Netherlands as well, like people are super direct. Whenever there's something wrong, we say exactly, like it's just really normal to be really direct. Mm -hmm. In France, <laughs> People just say it, but in your back. Oh, <laughs> on yes. your back. Of course, you can say it, but you can say it out loud, but never in front of the person. <laughs> For example, if you really dislike their haircut, unless it's really good friend, close family, and they can be really confrontational. But French people always say, like, oh yeah, you look so pretty. And after the friend say, did you see her haircut? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is so French, honestly. It's not something I really like, but people do that a lot. <laughs> in Switzerland, if you do something wrong in public, then someone will definitely tell you. Like, mm -hmm. for example, if you litter, then someone will tell you to pick it oh, up. Yeah. Or mm -hmm. if you stand in the wrong spot, people will tell you to move. So, in that part, people are very confrontational. I think, for me, it's not like uh, confrontational in that sense, yeah. But I think more like in a self-perseverance sense. Yeah. Like, they wouldn't mm -hmm. tell someone they're doing something wrong to them. But how about you? In Oh, in Spain, I think people don't have filters at all. So I, <laughs> I mean, it depends on the personality. In general, yeah, I feel like... But being yeah. confrontational, I think it's not a bad thing, unless no, you're no, starting yeah. something yeah. with the yeah, other person. Yeah, of course. Person. Mm. So. But it's like, for example, some countries kind of like put... The, for, she said, yeah, 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 I don't yeah, say yeah. it on... And I say yeah, it in the back. In the back. Yeah. But I, I think for Spanish people... I think for it really depends in the US, because there's so many different states. I think it's kind of different per state, because like, I, I want to say we're not quite as confrontational as when I moved to New York, and it was just like... Like, people would honestly tell me, they'd be like, you need to put yourself first more often, because you don't speak your mind. So it's like, it's just... I think it depends on your state, kind of and not really the country as a whole. Interesting. Yeah. In Switzerland, you should always abide by the rules. I feel like that's, of course, that's a universal thing, but in Switzerland, it's very strong. Let's say you are parking in the wrong spot for like five seconds, someone will report you. Oh. Or what? if wow. you're you on the, walking on the bike lane, someone will yell at you. So oh, you should just always abide by the rules. rules. Yeah, yeah, just stick to the stick rules. To yeah. That's interesting. I would say Germany is pretty similar. Mm -hmm. I think younger people maybe don't care as much. As for example, like for the public stuff, like parking or whatever, I feel like older people tend to complain more in Germany. Like for example, during COVID with the masks, yeah. there were <laughs> yeah. a lot of people oh protesting. Also older people who would mm -hmm. usually like make trouble if you do something wrong. We have this joke in Switzerland that there's always someone behind the curtain oh. watching <laughs> you to see if you're doing That's something creepy. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> How is it for you guys? Like, is it very strict in your country, or no. do people see it more? Same. Again, unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> I felt that when I started living abroad, I feel that people abroad are really strict. Not, not actually strict, but they try respectful. to respect their rules. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, respect the country respectful. they're living in. While I feel like sometimes in Italy, people find a lack of common sense. Mm. Um, <laughs> that's my opinion. After living so many years abroad, but mm. still. Mm. I, I kind of think like um, it seems like if it if like a rule doesn't make sense to them, then they're just like, well, I don't really have to follow it. Like if it's like a small thing, abroad is like more. Some some places are like just more like you follow exactly what they tell you, kind of, mm -hmm. instead of making your own rules. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay, yeah. So in the Netherlands, like when we order food at a restaurant, you cannot just say, hey, can I have this? Because that's really rude. Like there's kind of an unspoken rule that you have to look the person in the eyes and <laughs> wait until they see you and be like, no. not even do like this, but be like, like really, really <laughs> yeah, slightly yeah. doing really like <laughs> Yeah, like you have to be really careful when you order anything, like mm -hmm. because it's super rude if you just say, can I have another beer or something? <laughs> like, mm -hmm. Yeah, and... And also what you said about Switzerland, I think it's about like people sticking to the rules. I think some things are really similar, like especially with old people that like, yeah. And also one another thing like, which is really rude that's uh, like in the Netherlands, there's a lot of like bike roads, like especially only for bikes. And if somebody walks on the bike roads, like people get super angry because they would just want to like they go to their work on the bike or something uh. or to school, like everybody like uses the bike like the most I guess so mm -hmm. whenever somebody walks on the bike road we all get super annoyed mm -hmm. <laughs> do you have like similar things in your countries I think similar yeah it's really yeah. similar yeah it's very similar also the thing about calling the waiter mm -hmm. like in Switzerland people will mostly just look at the waiter mm -hmm. and wait until the waiter approaches yeah. them and then order you wouldn't really yell at them unless yeah. you are a rude person mm -hmm. yeah right <laughs> And for the bike, it's the same. In Paris, Paris especially, more and more people just ride the bike to go work uh, everywhere. <laughs> and uh, but yeah, people got so mad when you actually just walk on this specific like bike. Yeah, like, right. Well, yeah. yeah, they got so mad. <laughs> I feel like we wouldn't get mad. Like I said, we weren't confrontational. We no. just stare at them like, "What are you doing?" We <laughs> wouldn't actually tell them to get off it. <laughs> So in Italy, we should not brag about money, but unfortunately these days people brag a lot about, <laughs> about money. And I'm surprised, like, especially on social medias, I feel like everyone from the youngest person, like the, the student to maybe someone who is older, they all brag about, oh, I'm wearing Gucci shoes, I'm, uh, I'm using this Chanel purse. Um, everyone is trying to brag, everyone is trying to show how much money they have or they don't have, like they just pretend they have it. And I, I personally feel it's very unelegant and I think it's better not to do it, but still. But it wasn't like this before? Is this recently? Um, I'm not that old, so I don't know about before. I think, yeah, I feel like our parents were not bragging this much about money. I think it happened after the social media mm. development. It's not about show off. Yeah, yeah, yeah showing off. <laughs> I have a similar thing. Actually, there's a word for this in Swedish almost. It's called jantelagen, which means you shouldn't brag about yourself, not just money, but anything. But mm -hmm. also, I think these days people do a bit more. But mm -hmm. I guess that also goes in with the non confrontational, not braggy, you shouldn't be too much mm -hmm. of yeah, anything yeah. in Sweden. In Germany, it's actually interesting, like, it's similar, like younger people tend to show off more nowadays with yeah. belongings. Um, but there is like a saying in Germany, it's like we don't talk about money. Mm -hmm. um, so for example, you know, like those street interviews in the US yeah. and they're like, how much do you earn? Like, what's your job? Yeah. Um, if you would do that in Germany, I think most people would be like, oh, I'd rather not say. Yeah. Like we, we, so we learn from our parents, like not to talk about how much you have. Yeah. Especially because you don't know how much the other person has, you don't want to make them feel bad. That's right. right. common sense. That's yeah. what you should do. Yeah. But I feel sense. like people who really don't have that much, they get that item and they're gonna brag about that their whole life. Mm -hmm. So yeah. sometimes it's a some a way to hide that they don't really own that much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in Germany, um, it's considered rude to not look the other person in the eyes that you're cheering with, mm -hmm. uh, like giving a toast with. So yeah, it's like a saying, if you don't look the person into the eyes, you're going to have seven years of bed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, seven friends. Yeah. Seven <laughs> so you should always look everybody, like if you, even if you're cheering in a group, you should like make a round and like mm. look everybody in the eyes. Mm -hmm. um, how about you and your countries? Uh, we have exactly the same in France and oh. exactly the same thing. Like if you don't look into the eyes, it's seven year bad. We 
really careful that this is friends. <laughs> People always look each other in the eyes, even with your family, your friend, no matter. Yeah, sometimes quite funny because you know we overreacted. You know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've seen it so many times. Yeah. <laughs> the same yeah. saying is like exactly the same, and then it's also like right. exactly seven years. But I feel like it's only <laughs> like amongst young people. Like I never heard any like older generation talk about this. So True. yeah, maybe it came from Germany or from like other countries. I don't know. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, the looking in the eyes for French people, even the older generation just do it. Is more about the, you know, the things gonna happen if you don't. <laughs> That's more like we like new generation thing, but. Yeah, it's still really important, even for my grandparents' generation in France. Oh. That's something really important, yeah. We do the same thing in Switzerland, and if you're in a big group, it takes such a long time. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, you just want to stop, like, just look at everyone. <laughs> Your eyes are time. going like... Yeah. I think it's it's nice, honestly, because I there's more things in common than I expected. So I think that was actually nice to find out, because I thought... It would be like, oh, we're gonna find out we're like more different than I thought we were. But instead, I'm like, oh yeah, it's pretty much the same. But I mean, obviously, lots of differences. But um, in general, I think very similar rules and things we do. I think also like, especially European countries, they have a lot of similarities. But mm -hmm. for example, the grading rule, like that, I think is like the biggest difference maybe between countries. Like in Germany, I don't think you would ever kiss someone hello, like on mm -hmm. no, I think yeah. it's too much like invading the personal space. Mm -hmm. We would prefer a hug or a handshake. Even so. if you know the person you don't kiss, because in Netherlands you never. kiss three times. I've like never with family, family members. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's I've, I've that's interesting. That. Yeah. <laughs> so today we try to talk about the things that we shouldn't do in different countries. So if you like the video, like, share, and you can leave a comment. We'll see you soon. Bye! Bye.